Hello, my name is Zach, and I'm here with Team 12611 Technova from Tennessee here at the Alabama Qualifier 3. Today, they're going to be showcasing their launcher, their spindexer, and their dual side intake. Stay tuned for Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how your team can save time and money with FRC Tees. FRC Tees delivers custom team apparel with screen print, embroidery, DTF, and more options available. Join the over 200 teams and organizations who trust FRC Tees when you visit FRCTees.com today for your free quote and to apply for team sponsorship. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. So Nolan, could you go a little bit into um, how your launcher uh, system is designed? I know uh, it's pretty early season. I'm sure you have a little bit, a few modifications you're looking to make to it. So right now we final, we've almost finalized our shooter. It's just still a little bit of tweaks, but in, all in all, we got a, a turret that can turn uh, at least 180 and a little bit more, give or give some. And then we have a limelight that will pick up the April tag and know what know what pattern to go to shoot and we'll go into the spin extra and then a hood adjustable hood that will adjust to go wherever we need or where we are absolutely and i know a lot of teams have been playing around with compression and uh, how much they should compress the ball for the launcher as well as different mechanisms to drive that actuation um how are you guys doing that so for the to move the hood right now, we just have a simple axle with two gears on it with a just some ridges and it'll move up and down, move by a servo. For the pressure or the compression, we have some layers of tape here and we, we technically just play around with that. We still haven't finalized that of if we like slippery tape or if we like grippy tape because the backspin of the ball will be affected majorly by that. And yeah. Have you had any issues with backspin currently? Uh, the only backspin issues we have had is when we shoot, it will spin around in the the scoring spot and it will bounce out. Definitely, yeah. Time. And so now shifting to your intake, I see you have a dual side intake. Um, there's not many that I've seen. Um, and so how are y'all doing that system if you want to pass it off to uh, men? So we have our motor here that powers our intake and there's three sets of gears, one that can flip the direction for the other intake, and then the other is for this intake. So we have a rubber band intake, and it works really well for us. And to intake from the front side, we just align the spindexer to the front, and it will intake it. And then the spindexer will flip to the next spot. Awesome, and I know uh, a lot of the teams that have been doing spindexers and kind of optimizing the speed on that. How are y'all transferring it in, and uh, what are the what's it, that rate that you're able to uh, fire artifacts at? So currently, we have a a pusher, an active pusher right here. Um, so we use an Axon Mini to power that. Currently, we're at um, at the minimum around like 0.75 seconds and we're working on lowering that as much as we can and uh to spin around while also launching how much time do you see between launching artifacts i think the spindexer takes about 0.2 seconds and the pusher about like 0.1 i'm not exactly sure awesome and uh going now into some of the more uh, top part, I see you have these two latches here. Um, how has that helped you during uh, the season? So what we have here is last year we had very limited access to wires. And so what we did this year was we made it so you can open it up. It looks cleaner from the outside. We're going to put sponsors on it later. And you can just replace the battery so the battery you can't see and it just looks way cleaner. You can also access more wires here. This side open up, oh, opens up too. And it's just more optimal and just better. Absolutely, and so now shifting over to code, um, could you talk a little bit about how you're tracking the April tag and aligning your turret? 
Okay, so for the code, we are using uh, the limelight, as most of y'all know, gives the TX value. So we just have a PD set up where it transfers, it tries to align it to zero, basically, on the TX value. And if it doesn't detect it, it oscillates, which I think we can show here. Just, just, it'll oscillate. So it, there's no April tag in detection right now, so it just does a step type movement. So it gets time to process the line April tag. And then once it detects it, it instantly shifts over, or once it comes in, it scopes. And uh, how are you running the, uh, I know without a gearing, um, are you running any kind of absolute encoder on it, or how are you like keeping so you know where it is, or just only that limelight? Uh, so there is a servo here, and uh, the servo positions, I think it's uh, Andy Mark 5 turn servo, Correct. table turn. Uh, so we have it to where, in the code at least, the TX value, you increase the servo position and you decrease it. So then obviously if you increase it, it goes a certain way, yeah. if you decrease it, it goes the other way. And I think I saw that it has that hard stop so you don't overrun your wires. Yeah, right? so we don't overrun our wires, which is awesome. when we get to a certain value, we, we clip it, so, yeah. and then and it shifts. Going into a little bit of your autonomous code, I know uh, that Spindexer can make it really nice to sort. How has that been working out this season? So in auto, we know that where our balls are, because it's a set pattern. Absolutely. So every time we, in the, intake so when we start it when we set up set it up we have the green always at the front so this preset and then it goes there it turns to the slot which it says so it, if it's gpp for example which this detects on the obelisk if you like notice during our autopaths it slightly turns over and the light turns yellow Absolutely. saying that it detected the tag and it knows what it is so if it's for example going back to what i said if it's gpp it aligns it to the shooter position where it's green purple purple shoots and then it intakes and then when it's preparing to shoot it again aligns it accordingly awesome and uh, what kind of sensors are you using on the server i know I, I think i see a few color sensors down there. yes we do have like a few color sensors like we have four in total two on each side so we detect it when it comes in so once we go in it shows the color it registers it and then it turns automatically so it kind of helps us what other sensors uh, do you have on the server We do have yeah. odometry as well on the bottom. We have pinpoint. So, the first teams are using that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we also merge these values with our limelight localization, which is full 3D tracking. And I just noticed this on the front, I see almost like a carbon fiber wrap on your motors. Is that uh, for anything special? <laughs> just to give that aesthetic black type look. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, Technova, this has been an amazing interview and I hope everybody is able to learn a little bit about your turret, your spindexer, and as well as that double sided intake that we see as a uh, upcoming possible meta for this game. See you again on Behind the Bot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Discover how your team can save time and money with FRC Tees. FRC Tees delivers custom team apparel with screen print, embroidery, DTF, and more options available. Join the over 200 teams and organizations who trust FRC Tees when you visit FRCTees.com today for your free quote and to apply for team sponsorship.